Maido. Well, hi there, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to talk about where we place ourselves in the talk. Rezeno Master Shimasho. This is the eighth year of the Presentation Japan Series podcast. We're beaming around the world to you from sunny Minato Ku in Tokyo. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Kennedy, Tokyo franchise owner, the president of Dale Kennedy Tokyo Training, and the three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, which is Zaegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery, or in Japanese, Anatomo Presen no Tachijin. Plus, Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okani o Muru ni Sunu wa Yami Masho, and all are available on Amazon. Through this podcast, I want to help you. Become a better speaker to be one, clear, two, confident, three, persuasive, four, highly influential with those around you. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Libsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on Apple Podcasts. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast. Tuesday, the Presentations Japan series. And every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in the Oshie show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro podcast show. Fridays, the Japan Business Master Show podcast, and Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 380, 380. And today we are talking about what if we make ourselves the center of the talk? Where is the line? Between referencing our experiences and insights and just talking about ourselves. I attended a talk recently where the speaker had a perspective to share with the audience to add value to their careers and businesses. What surprised me was how much of the talk was centered on the speaker rather than the audience. I was thinking about this later and wondered what the better balance would be. When we go on about ourselves, we're getting further away from points of relevance for the listeners. I have to remember the people are unapologetically 100% focused on themselves and their own interests and don't care all that much about our story. As the speaker, the closer we can align what we are saying to the listeners' interests, the greater the acceptance of what we are saying and the bigger the impact we will have as the presenter. It's fine in theory, but we can't just make a series of pompous statements about how things should be and not back them up with evidence. Often, that evidence is coming from our own experiences, and that can be the most convincing variety. Unveiling a lot of sexy data during the talk is interesting, but a mud and blood rendition of what happened to us in the trenches is always more gripping and compelling. This speaker, in my mind, strayed across the line and was wallowing in too much self-indulgence about what they had been doing. How do we balance our story with the audience's need for alignment with their benefit? What the speaker could have done was better draw out how to transfer their learnings into concrete examples where the listeners could apply them to their own circumstances. Instead of just saying, this is what I did, and this is how it worked for me, they could have gone a bit deeper on the application of others who are not them. When the example is too idiosyncratic, the agency for others becomes diminished or diluted. We could say, I did this, and I got this result. Now, here are three ways you could take the same idea and apply it in your situation. We've now crossed over to the audience's application of the knowledge. By giving more than one opportunity, 
we are more likely to hit on what the majority of audience members are looking for. Importantly, by prior analysis of who is showing up to the talk, we can anticipate common needs and circumstances. This allows us to get closer to the mark of listener reality when we explain our examples. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs. We do them in Japanese, we do them in English, we do them in our super safe classroom, and we do them live online. Our show today is being brought to you by, on the 25th and 26th of April, we'll have our High Impact Presentations Program. Starting on the 26th of April, our Winning with Relationship Selling Course. And on the 9th of May, we'll have our Dale Carnegie Course. Go to our website, dale-carnegie.co.jp. That's dale, D-A-L-E, hyphen, Carnegie, C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E, dot, C-O, dot, J-P. Lots and lots of value there for you. To do better in Japan, email me at greg.story. That's G-R-E-G dot story, S-T-O-R-Y, at dalecarnegie.com. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 2,300 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, every Monday, Tokyo time. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show. And on Saturdays, we release Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders from SMEs right up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Puro Telebi Show. Get my best-selling books on business in Japan. The Bible on Selling, Japan Sales Mastery, that's Zaegyo in Japanese. Japan Business Mastery and Japan Presentations Mastery, which is Anatomo Presen no Tachijin in translation, plus Stop Wasting Money on Training, which in Japanese is Training de Okani o Budni Suno Yami Masho. And all are available on Amazon. Welcome back. A simple rule of thumb should be. 20% of what happened to us and 80% of the time on explaining why this will work for our audience. Our speaker, in this case, reversed those percentages and spent the majority of the time talking about what happened to them. The problem with this is we in the audience are not them, and we have to pass out what we can apply from their story. It is much better if the speaker saves us that drama and tells us what we can apply. We draw out the key points we want to make for the audience, align our war stories with the points, and then add a significant section in the talk on explaining why doing this is a great idea, and specifically, why it is a great idea bolstered with concrete cases and options. This is an unbeatable combination. We demonstrate in words that because we did it, they can too, we draw out how it will work for the audience and convince them that it has a broader application than just working for us alone. We have to marshal the benefits of taking our advice, and the more concretely we can do that, the better. Our speaker convinced us that it worked for them, but failed to make the case that it would work for us. They hinted at it, but statements are cheap, and we skeptical folk want more evidence. We're all risk averse. So we want chapter and verse and solid, provable details. When constructing the talk, keep that 20%, 80% dichotomy in mind. Certainly use ourselves as proof, but don't rely on it exclusively. If we can talk about others doing marvelous things with our advice, that is the icing on the cake. We love to hear case studies and then draw our own conclusions on how much we can take from the example and apply it in our world. That idea is something we need to be constantly hammering away at too. Keep telling them to think how they can adapt it and apply it for themselves. In this way, we can keep switching the focus back to the audience, away from us, and we will get the balance right. Right. 
Did you get value from today's show? If you did, then share the love around with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Until the next episode, go out there and apply the learnings from today and become a presentations legend amongst your circle. Thank you for joining me and please tune in next week. Remember, I'm in your corner, your go-to guy for soft skills training in Tokyo, committed to your success here in Nippon. <laughs>